mission up to us. It's not hidden. You already know destruction coming. But did you know you? he want us to partake? To cry out against this wickedness that's going on? And some of our people, they just say, well, I don't want to see what's going on. I know it's wickedness. I just don't even want to. I don't even want to see it. I don't even want to know what they're doing. That's the wrong thing to do. They kept their eyes on their enemies. Yeah, you have to. Since Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation. Mm -hmm. He didn't want him in the dark. And all the nations of the earth shall be Barak in him. For I have known him in order that he may consume, <coughs> be com may <coughs> command his children and his household after him, that they keep the way of Yahuwah, mm -hmm. to do righteousness and justice, that Yahuwah may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. All right, so there's a lie from the Hebrew Israelite camps. Please don't miss it. Please, please don't miss this. I have known him in order that he might, he may command his children and his household. See, the lie in the Hebrew Israelite camps goes a little something like this. He gave the law to the children of Israel. He didn't give it to any other nation. Who's Abraham? How can Abraham be a son of Yasharal? <laughs> How can Shem be? So that's a lie. That is a bold-faced lie. And when I teach... When they come to the channel and they hear me teaching Isaiah 56, family, our people, the people of Yashara, they knocking against that. When they knock, no, no, you're wrong. They call them Gentile. Gentiles ain't supposed to be, Gentiles ain't supposed to be this and Gentiles ain't supposed to be that. And some of you all here that are here of Guin, all of us, remember, all of us are Guin. <laughs> all of us are Guin. Yeah, technically. Because it means nation. <laughs> the Most High gave us this right here in the class. First, we got a question. The Most High playing with us. He put it in me to ask everybody. Everybody of Yasharal. What if you get to the wilderness and the Most High said, oh, you are going. And I got some great response. I know my family was my family first. With my family, like, yes, that's fine. As long as we're there. Long as we're still in covenant, we're in covenant with him, we're there, we're fine. And come to find out, what, a couple weeks went by, and boom, we had to prove the fact, using Aubrey, that all of us are going. So to say it's been given to the children of Israel only is a complete, utter lie. Here he is. It's, he, so he commanded his children and his household. These are other nations outside of the... These are other nations that not they're not in the bloodline of Abraham. Other nations. That they sh should keep the way. So we teach Gawain. You got to keep the way. Follow Louis. Follow. Because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great. Because what? The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah. He's telling Abraham because of the outcry. There's the mission, family. I told y'all, this mission, you ran over this mission, but you've never seen this before. Look at that. How is it? We can go over this stuff many times and we can't see the mission. We can't see what he wants us to see unless he shows it to us. I can't see what he want me to see unless he shows it to me. It don't sound like what I got to do to prove myself to them people. Okay, let them stay in the Bible. They don't see nothing. We'll come in the class and be twilling our thumbs and just reading over his word. And we don't see nothing. Y'all see that? See what? Kind of humbling. Yeah, it is. How many times have we ran over this? I was saying. The most high know if we out the most high know if we crying out against the wicked or not. He know we sitting by worrying about our own families. He know we ain't worrying about them. He know which one of you all was along with me going in on the wicked to the most high. Crying out to him concerning the wicked. He knows who been crying out and who hasn't. Who's been on a mission and who has it? And Yahuwah said, I, my mission actually went, Yahuwah said, because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great. With a few people, it's not great. Yeah, some people, you ask the most high, are people in the earth today crying out? 
against the wicked, against what's going on. The Medes are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Medes are. They are. Yeah. The Medes that's are crying out. Good example. Yeah, that's a very good example. And together too. Yep. Yeah. The holes they left. Of course, you can't. You ain't gonna find nothing on them, them Hebrew Israelite ch- channels. Who's crying out against the wicked? Who? Remember, most of the people that's on YouTube now, they are Christian commandment keepers. They're teaching scripture and they're just Christian command. They still believe to love everybody teaching. Because you can't cry out against these wicked people if you love them. Let me see that again. We get paid by them. Yeah. You're attached to them. You're attached to them. They're down for what you too. Why are you gonna cry out against something you love? So they're not crying out against the wicked. Because the outcry against Sodom is, and Gomorrah is great. And because their iniquity is very great. So their iniquity very great. We got iniquities in the heaven. They didn't have iniquity in the heaven. They didn't have other nations doing what they were doing. It hadn't spread it yet. If it had, the most I would have went beyond this area. He would have went other places. I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the outcry against So the most high expect us to cry out against the wickedness that's going on. To cry out against Edom. And he gonna come down to see. He coming down to see who cried out. Who cried out against them. Y'all know he ain't coming down on America. When he come down today he's still coming down on those four Kadash places on earth. He doesn't have a house. He doesn't have a tabernacle. There's a tabernacle, but it's not set up. It's, not even, it, it's dusty. This has to be anointed again. This has to go through the process all over again. He ain't coming down on that. But the mountains, the Kadash places, this is when he come down. He's looking. He know they got those bulldozers out there making the, making the road, make, make it, making it level. When I saw that, it reminded me of the, of the dream that I had. I cry against it that has come to me, and if not, I will know. And if not, <laughs> he's looking to see who's crying out against it. And if most high want us to cry out against this wickedness, he doesn't want us to be all right with it. He doesn't want to say, he does not want to hear us saying, well, that's in America. We were the borders. We ain't got nothing to do with that. That has nothing to do with us. Nothing. He doesn't want to hear that. He want to hear... This is what he want to hear. Ah, but how much longer? We got me and my family in mind. Most high this, the most high that. Me and my family and the most high. And then we got jobs. We got things we got to do. We got homes. We got children. We got all these things. We also have a very important mission. We got all these things. And a very important mission. The question got to be asked now. How many people in the borders know about this mission? Please. How many? Family, when we hear the words we get here in in Revelations 18 and 5. For her iniquities have reached to heaven. All right. So so even though great iniquity is going on, it's in the heavens. And what? And the Most High has remembered her iniquities. All right. We know this is talking about Babylon. And we've already, we know this iniquity is up in heavens. We get, we're going to get there. We're almost there. Jeremiah 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon. We would have healed Babylon. But she is not healed. She's not healed. Forsake her. And let us go everyone to his own country. Uh-huh. For her judgment reaches to heaven. Her judgment reaches to heaven. Why? That's what iniquity is. The judgment's... When you, listen, wherever iniquity is, judgment hit that place. So when he comes down, what do he, what do he have to hit first? Up high. He's hitting the iniquity up high first. Her judgment reaches to heaven and is lifted up to the clouds. And lifted up to the clouds. Lifted up to the clouds? So what is this iniquity? Some of y'all know this iniquity. Some of the you truthers on, on YouTube, they, they talked about this. All right, Obadiah, this is the root. You ready for this? Yes, sir. This is the root of the mission. 
starting first verse? First verse, yeah. Okay. The vision of Abadiah, thus says Yahuwah Alua, concerning Adun. Concerning? Here he is. We know him as Shair. We have heard a report from Yahuwah. Mm-hmm. And a messenger has been sent among the nations. A message and a messenger has been sent among the nations. Saying, arise and let us rise up against her for battle. So they're talking about rising up against her for battle. Now, the people, the righteous, been crying out against her and her iniquity. Now, actions, actions about to take place now. So this is the setting. Behold. I'll make you small among the nations. He's planning on making her small among the nations. You shall be greatly despised. You shall be greatly what? Despised. Who's hating her? It ain't us. As a collective whole, it ain't us. Look at the Hebrew Israelites family. Look at them. They in bed with her. They still talking about the rapper. I'm lost count how long they've been talking about it. The rapper and the ball player. I'm like, what in the world? They still talking about what's in the main? They don't hate her. Uh-uh. Family, to show you, you hate someone, you separate from that one. When a husband and wife can't get along any longer, they have to separate. They shouldn't have... Behold. Wait, no, I read the part. Okay. He should be greatly despised. Yeah, that's where we stopped at. Greatly despised. We got to hate this place. The pride of your heart has deceived the you. The pride of your heart has deceived What pride? We're the greatest country in the world. Call the other countries S-H. You fill in the rest, whole countries. Oh, yes! Third world. Third world. Look at that. I hate that. I do too. Third world. Co what those countries that? are third world countries. What is a third what world? The world? most high made one world, family. If anyone said they third world, you're just making up, a, you're making up something. Most high didn't say anything called third world. But y'all know they look at Abraham. They look at all the men in the land. And they call them third world. Because what they're calling third world countries today. They got way more advanced technology than what they had back then. What would they call them? Uncivilized. They would call them uncivilized. Family, we got to be very careful in this area. I, I know I dwell in the clefts of the rock. Mm. Whose habitation is high. Where's his habitation? High. What in the world he doing up high? Told y'all. The iniquity's up there. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, the book of Revelation is right. See, that's when we use the book of Revelation. When it agrees with Torah and the prophets. This is a direct connection. We can use it to connect right to it. Yes, it's iniquity up there. It's up high. I remember in Babylon. Who say in your heart. Who will bring me down to the ground? He's up high, family. And he's, he's, he's arrogant and prideful. Don't remember what we, remember the word we learned. He, as high as the eagle. Mm-hmm, there's the clue with the eagle. He loves his eagle. Though you ascend as high as the eagle, Edom looked down on the eagle. And though you set your nest among the stars. His nest is among the stars. They call it a space station. As high as the eagle, and though you set your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down, says Yahuwah. Most high said, from right there, I'm going to bring you down. Because you, you bad. If thieves had come to you, if robbers by night, oh, how you would be cut off. Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If grape gatherers had come to you, mm -hmm. Would they not have left some gleanings? Listen, listen. What is saying here? Edom is greedy. He he taking all the resources from the earth. Got all the riches for himself. Greedy. And even if some came to 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 gather grapes, come to you, they will left some gleaning. You don't leave nothing. Oh, how Shair shall be searched out. He's going to be searched out. There are going to be some people down on earth on a mission. Searching out his hiding place. Speaking against him. Commit, listen. Asking for curse. Speaking curses over him. Using scripture. How his hidden treasures shall be sought after. He got hidden treasures. He got more money than he can spend. He got hidden treasures. 